The FIA race director Michael Massey has come in for more criticism, completely ignoring any level of common sense in Abu Dhabi. That is the view of ex-Formula 1 racer Stefan Johansson, who featured on the podium 12 times in the 79 start he made from 1983 to 1991 with a 65 years old pulling no punches when it comes to assessing Massey's decision-making abilities. First, I guess it's positive for Formula 1 that everyone is chiming in, that there is so much passion for either side, Lewis or Max, Johansson wrote on his personal blog. Whether it's intentional or not, the entertainment value of this controversy has gone through the roof. But I think that has to be balanced somewhere because the decision Massey made make no sense on any level. His decision completely ignored any level of common sense as to what would have been a fair way to handle the situation. Johansson offered what his approach would have been, and he had the one sat in Massey's hot seat. He said, The only way it should have been done was by doing what you normally do. As soon as they deploy the safety car with five laps to go, they should have red flagged the race. That's the only way to keep it level and keep the excitement until the end you would have everyone come into the pits while they clear the track, put new tires on and go from there like they did at the Saudi Grand Prize when Red Bull rebuilt half their car and put new tires on. Making the decision he did and then changing his mind completely at the very last moment absolutely handed the race on plate to Max and Red Bull after Lewis had done a flawless race. Johansson then went on to add, this last race was just the culmination of a series of incredibly bad calls that somehow seemed to have escalated as the year went on. Hamilton has yet to break his silence since the events of Abu Dhabi, but he has received messages from the new FIA president, Mohammed bin Sulaim, in the hope that all parties can move on from the season finale ahead of the 2022 campaign.